Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to The Force Feed, the show where I keep you up to date on all recent gaming news and announcements and share with you my thoughts and opinions. Today is Friday, November 25th, 2011, and let's just jump into today's gaming news. Impulse Technology is suing Nintendo as well as a few third-party developers for what they claim as a patent infringement of an interactive system for measuring physiological exertion, specifically claiming that they are infringing a patent when used with a Wii Remote and Balance Board, example in games such as Wii Fit Plus and Zumba Fitness 2. And again, this is supposedly infringing on their patent for the Tracer Interactive Fitness Machine uh, that they did actually go ahead and patent in 1996. Uh, now, this is quite an interesting claim, uh, specifically looking at the fact that, you know, you look at the Wii and the Wii Remote and the fitness board and these, these systems that are used for these games, while they are certainly used uh, for motion tracking, uh, I, I can't say it's specifically targeted to have the same effect as what this fitness company has designed or initially intended the design of their system to be working for. It's an interesting suit and, uh, you know, I will be intrigued to see what ends up happening when it goes to court if it makes it to court. Uh, I can't imagine that much is going to come with it. I'm pretty sure Nintendo, as well as the third, third party developers, do not have much to worry about. Why don't you guys go ahead and weigh in? You can find out more information in the link below. Do you think that this is a suit that actually is going to hold up in court? Do you think it will even get that far? Or do you think that they are just trying to make a quick buck? It seems like it was just yesterday where we discussed a game not making it to PC for fear of pirating issues. Well, today we have the same story, but on a different day. It does appear like a Ghost Recon Future Soldier will not be making it to PC. It will be replaced with what is known as Ghost Recon Online, which is a free-to-play, non-DRM multiplayer title that is specifically designed to deter and prevent piracy. It uh, has been stated by Ghost Recon's online senior pr producer uh, that 95% of PC gamers were expected to download Future Soldier illegally, and because of this, they have gone through with the project of Ghost Recon Online, again, as a method to help deter this. This again goes back to the issue of games not making it to PC for fear of piracy. This is evidently very real in the eyes of these uh, game developers uh, taking steps like this and also what we talked about the other day um, still we're bringing up the same issue it seems like piracy is such a major concern and the fact that even if they do port these games to PC they're not going to uh, they're not even going to sell any of them because people will just download them illegally so instead, they're taking measures such as this uh, and such as just straight up not even porting. Uh, but I will be interested to see what Ghost Recon Online actually entails in terms of content. Uh, what is specifically stated that is a multiplayer focused game. So I, I'm questioning whether or not there is even going to be a single player campaign in it. I don't know. I am looking forward to finding out more information about the title in the future. It does appear like the PlayStation 4 will be coming out not too much later than their competition. It was recently stated by PlayStation that they are hoping to get out the PS4 at around the same time as the Wii U and the Xbox 720. Specific quotes here from Sony Computer's Jim Ryan, I think we would consider it undesirable to be significantly later than the competition. Now something to keep in mind is that the Wii U is expected and planned for 2012. It has been rumored that the Xbox 720 will also be coming out in 2012. Does this mean that we will also be seeing the PlayStation 4 in 2012? It turns out that next year could be an exciting year for gamers, or a poor year for gamers as we're forced to dough out uh, new, more money on a new system. Leave your thoughts and opinions below. Do you think that the next generation of system will in fact all be coming out next year? Do you think it is much more likely that we'll see things in 2013 or even as late as 2014? Next up, of course, as we have been mentioning throughout the week, some of the various awesome deals available on Steam right now. They are hosting, once again, uh, more deals in their autumn sale. Today we are looking at titles such as Space Marine, Dead Island, and Deus Ex, Human Revolution. Some excellent titles there. Go ahead and take a look over at the Steam store for some fantastic deals. In addition to that, it is uh, comforting to know that you do not actually have to leave your house on this Black Friday or this weekend to get some of those sweet deals. It is certainly a zoo out there. I suggest avoiding it if at all possible, but go ahead and head on over to Newegg.com or Steam or any of the various online sites as most of them are hosting some pretty phenomenal deals. And then lastly, I did want to make mention of the fact that the Star Wars Old Republic uh, MMO beta is currently taking place. I have received my beta key. I will be busy with that this weekend and I am planning on providing coverage. I want to inform you guys so that you 
you can stay tuned for that and look forward to it as well. I do plan on providing fairly in-depth coverage of the beta, as well as some other games that I have recently received beta keys for. Stay tuned next week for some more information and for some more sweet content. And then lastly, for the question of the day, with all this talk of possibly the next generation of consoles coming out next year, I would like to know if you even plan on purchasing them. Uh, it is going to most likely be a heavy investment. We're looking at upwards of $400 uh, without question, possibly even higher for this go around. I don't expect it to be too much higher than that, but I can certainly expect the systems to at least initially be somewhere between four and $600. Uh, and with that in mind, do you plan on buying the next generation of, of consoles if it does start rolling out next year? Let me know what you guys think below if this is going to be a yay or nay purchase for you. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode and this week of The Force Feed. Stay tuned next Monday for some more information and updates on everything going on in the gaming industry as well as my thoughts and opinions on them thanks for watching guys once again this has been force and you have just been force fed